Good morning, this is Jeffrey with the Desert Inkwell, and today we are going to be talking about a topic that is very serious. Dieting. But more specifically, pen dieting. So, how does that apply to this video? Well, you've all seen the thumbnail, so you know that I'm referring to pen diet as my version of currently inked. And I have to tell you, I am a currently inked dropout, <laughs> complete and total fail. So every month, with the best of intentions, I set up some pens and pick ink, and I'm going to do currently inked that month. I watch a good amount of other YouTube creators' content, and I see a lot of amazing videos on Currently Inked. A, it gives me inspiration for other inks I might want to try, other pens or nibs that I'm not familiar with. I keep my pens typically in a Galen leather zip and slip, and I'll show you that in a little bit. That holds four pens. I chose that specifically to restrain myself, but what happens is as the month goes on, I just start <laughs> pulling in pens and different inks and by the end of the month <laughs> then I have like 20 pens inked up with various colors to the point that I have inks in pens that I cannot with absolute certainty tell you what ink is in that pen. So um, maybe we'll do a pen spring cleaning at some point here and get them all cleaned out um, but that's where we are today. Yeah, sometimes I try at the beginning of a month and it just doesn't work and I end up swapping them. The goal this month, today was the deadline. I had to have the inks and pens chosen. Now granted, today is... <laughs> well, we'll just say it's partway through the month already. So I will stick with these through the end of March. Right? Okay, that's fair. Three weeks? I can do three weeks. Show of hands, tell me if you how many... <laughs> show of... <laughs> Alright. By a show of hands, how many of you think I'm actually going to make it to the end of this month using only these four pens? Yeah, me neither. But I'm going to try. So I'm going to run you through what it normally looks like when I attempt to do Currently Inked. Here are the four pens that will make up my pen diet for the remaining part of March and probably a couple days into April. I keep these four pens in the Galen Leather Zip and Slip and that's made up of this pen board with very soft elastic straps and that goes into this nice leather cover that zips shut. So that's that. The color on this is uh, Crazy Horse Green. So our first pen and ink combo this month is an Esterbrook SD Rollerball, uh, which I converted into a fountain pen using Esther Brooks uh, vintage nib converter and a vintage 2668 nib. It's a medium nib. I love the way this writes. I love that the ink um, from Birmingham Pen Company in the color Lichen gives great shading. The second pen for this month is the Leonardo Memento Zero in the color Seaweed. This is beautiful trim this is with a fine nib i have ordered a broad nib because i feel like i'm in my broad era and then that ink is ferris wheel press misguided mistletoe now this is a shimmer ink but because this is a fine nib, I didn't want to use shimmer ink in the pen, and so I just uh, drew up the ink into the pen. So just know if you really like this color and you go to order it, there is gold shimmer. 
um, and I may re-ink it with the gold shimmer if I get a, uh, when the broad nib comes in. Now, this is a Mayora Ogiva Golden Age pen in the color Fire. This is with the gold trim. We have a beautiful yellow uh, ink window on this pen. We do have a 14 karat gold broad nib and a metal section. This pen is a piston fill pen and fills um, by removing this blind cap. And this is what you would turn to uh, draw ink up into the pen. And then finally today, we have another pen by Mayora, but this is the Natuno Superba Everyday Pen. And it's in this dark, uh, muted green tone. I love it. Um, this is a button fill pen. So you'd remove this blind cap here and depress this button all the way down while your nib um, was in the ink. And that allows the ink to be drawn into the pen. And then this is in a 14 karat gold uh, palladium plated medium nib. And these are all beautiful writers. Now that we've gotten the structured part of this video addressed, I'm going to move these pens out of the way. And we'll do a little bit of live writing. I have horrible spelling, and so I wanted to get the makers of the ink and the color of the ink written out for you nicely and correctly, but now let's just do a little bit of fun writing, how I would use my pen. I love the way the vintage 2668 nib writes. It's a medium, but it gives great shading on inks. And I've used this with uh, Mont Blanc Midnight Blue, and I got a similar uh, result. So I am fairly certain Uh, fairly certain of nothing. I love how that writes. The I notice my writing style changes. So on that vintage nib, I kind of like to make my letters a little more sweeping. Whereas on the Leonardo Momento Zero with a fine nib, on a fine nib, I have a tendency to want to print. See, even this. Typo. I cannot spell. Well, you know what? Okay. I like this. It's a good everyday writer. I don't know that I love a fine nib. It's kind of boring to me. But serves its purpose, especially when I'm putting things in my planner. Um... This is the Mayora Ogiva in a broad nib, and this is a wet, juicy nib. This puts a lot of ink down, and that's kind of when I, when I say I'm in my broad nib season, I'm just enjoying seeing that much ink. I like that a lot. This was my winner of all of these. This pen is light. 
um, the ink. <laughs> we'll zoom in see if you can get a better look at these inks all right so i don't know that i gave the best coverage so we'll say Draw a little clover. This one, I I thought the Ferris wheel press ink was a good match to the pen, and it is. And as much as I love green, the misguided mistletoe is just, it's kind of a flat color. And what is really drawing me to the other is that they have some dimension. So... I have certainly got my greens for the month. Uh, wish me luck. I have one bonus pen I just wanted to share. Actually, reshare. Is this Hongdian M2 little pocket pen that we reviewed last week. It's aluminum. This really, really is a nice writer. This is the... DNM2. And this color is Monteverde. Olivine. Now you'll see as this dries too, you get some shading. It's just more dimensional than this, the Ferris Wheel Press Misguided Mistletoe. Now, in the defense of that ink, it should have a shimmer, and that shimmer would add dimension to that particular ink. I I chose to not put the shimmer in, so that is not anyone's fault but my own. Wish me luck this month as I do my absolute best to stay with my pen choices. Um, shall we get into it? Okay, everyone, um, thanks for joining me today. Enjoy your St. Patrick's Day. Uh, enjoy your pens, enjoy your inks, and wish me luck on my pen diet as I try and stick to four and a half pens for the rest of the month of March. Uh, let me know down below if there's a topic you'd like me to cover. Otherwise, I'll see you next weekend. Bye. <laughs> okay.